This video is brought to you by Upside. Okay, I know what y'all are thinking, all right? I know y'all are thinking that this is in very poor taste. Saber Spark, haven't they suffered enough? Why you gotta bring up the prints right now? Are you being trendy? Are you being topical? Listen, all right? Here's the thing. I actually had it scheduled to review this show sometime in September, and it just so happened to fall around the same ballpark of these recent events. For those who don't know, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, has passed away. I think she was like 96, so she lived a pretty long life. I mean, quite a long life, if we all could be so lucky and also be so rich. So, yes, The Prince. It is a show that was on HBO Max back in 2021. I watched it when it came out. It's about the royal family. I kind of have this weird fascination of the royal family. Let me give you all some background of my relationship with the royal family. I'm not part of it, by the way. I'm just an observer. So on my mother's side, my family comes from Swansea, Wales. So I've grown up familiar to a, a bit more of a degree than most people when it comes to the royal family. And that's because of Princess Diane. She was from Wales and she died. And I remember when she did pass away, my family, they were all crestfallen. And I'm like, what is, who are princesses? I did not know that princesses were even real. And I'm not trying to make light of the situation, but that was my kid-like brain at the time. And ever since, I kind of just had the royal family in the back of my brain being like, oh yeah, the queen and, and her husband, Prince Philip. And then there's Prince William and Prince Harry and, and Prince Charles and all this other family. And I just find it so interesting where it's like the British monarchy is just there for like identity for the British people. Uh, and, and I'm not trying again to make light of the recent loss. I don't want to get tangled up in that. My timing is admittedly pretty bad as far as talking about the prince. But I mean, come on. I did the Queen's Corgi review years ago. I've earned this. I've earned the ability to weigh in on this topic when I want to. So here I am. And don't worry. Uh, if you think I'm being insulting, oh, uh, look at the prince and you'll discover the true meaning of insulting. Let me tell you. The prince is uh, one of the worst things I've ever seen. It is basically a royal family version of Family Guy. And it was created by a person named Gary Janetti, who was a writer on Family Guy back in the day. By the way, take a shot every time my videos, whenever I mention Family Guy clone, right? You'll die of alcohol poisoning. There was only one season of the show, 12 episodes, and it was on HBO Max, so it's fielded by Warner Media. Wow as if things can't get worse for them too, right? When I saw this show, and I, I can't believe I watched all of the show. I watched it all in one day. I guess I'm a masochist, right? And it was probably the worst Family Guy clone I've ever seen. And I've seen some bad ones, and I've seen some okay ones too. Like I know I talked about, forget about it, and I called it a Family Guy clone. But you know, it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. There's also Mother Up which has Family Guy tendencies, and I would call it a clone as well, or at least inspired. This though, The Prince, is downright shameless. It feels like a Family Guy skit that was made into a show. That's what it is. It stars Prince George, who is like uh, the, the little son of Prince William. He's like nine years old nowadays. He was seven years old when the show came out, and that was the first line that they crossed, where I thought, okay, um, listen, you can punch up. You can have a go at anybody in the world if they're political, celebrities, musicians, powerful, whatever. As long as they're adults. Going after kids? Uh-uh. That feels dirty. Uh, hands off, you know? It's a little boy, and I, I know he comes from a, a powerful family. Same with the other kids in the show who are part of the royal family. They're still kids. Leave them alone. That just felt dirty to me. Like, if you want to make a main character, create one who's an adult. Or focus on one of the, you know, Prince Harry or Prince William or whatever. But to go after the kid, uh, just because you want to make British Stewie Griffin, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure Stewie is British, you know, with his... <laughs> he's not. I don't know. <gasps> I'm British? All right. Oh, I wonder if I'll have one of those pug-nosed British dogs that licks its own snot all day. I just felt like, oh, you picked Prince George because he's Stewie adjacent, he's sassy, he's the ass, he, he's saying crazy things that uh, a royal person, a royal child especially, wouldn't say. Ooh, so funny. It just feels like that was a dirty tactic, and, and the kid didn't deserve that. 
So while I'm watching the show, I'm thinking, yeah, um, tactless, I don't like that. You wanna make fun of Prince Philip for being old? Which by the way, he died right before the show was released and Warner Media was like, we better delay it by like a month or so, just so we don't piss off anybody. You made a show already, stop being cowards, just release it. Either you're offensive or you're not. So get off the Potter crap or whatever the phrase goes, I don't know. But like, that's, that's the show. I, I really can't explain it outside of that. There's like the help of the castle, which is pretty good. I thought they were, I say pretty good, relative to the royal family dynamic with the queen being very irreverent, saying things that the queen wouldn't say. That's the entire joke of the show, is what if the royal family said things that weren't very uh, polite or, or bourgeoisie? What if the queen said bitch or fuck? Oh, wow, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, uh, shoot me. <laughs> I don't know. And again, I know enough about the royal family where I can understand the chemistry or even the jabs they're making out when it's based on like actual behavior of the characters. Like Prince Harry has basically abdicated his position, uh, ran off with his wife to live a life, and he's kind of got some bad blood with the family. And that's somewhat of a plot point in this show. Barely, just a bit, but it's all satirical, but never from the point of view of it being inspired. Like, okay, I mentioned the Queen's Corgi, all right? That movie is such a weird blend of like, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't, but I kind of do. But at least it used the material of Queen Elizabeth, of Prince Philip, of even Donald Trump to a degree where it was applicable. It actually worked from a writing point of view. The queen has a bunch of corgis. What would happen for a little corgi pup who gets lost? He's so pampered, he's so used to that lifestyle. What if he was lost? What if he was betrayed and kicked out? How will he get back to the queen? That makes sense, you can work off of that. You can make a functioning movie, not spectacular, but it's something. And I mean, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like praising the queen, but it's definitely not like <sighs> punching down either. It's just using it as a plot point. And that worked. And, and, and also the corgis kind of carry the movie. Here, it's all like, let's just rip into the family. And again, I'm okay with that. Rip into powerful people, go wild. Just leave the kids alone. And also maybe take a writing lesson and not just be a family guy skit that won't stop. So I gotta say, for the creator of this show, for Gary Janetti, I think you don't have much respect for your audiences or whatever puppet master's pulling your strings while well, I'm being mean today, is telling you just the people are stupid, make these dumb crass jokes and they'll applaud and then we'll make our show and get paid. Uh, I'm glad that show got canceled. By the way, it got canceled. Um, it's, it's just as dead as the queen. Uh, wow, I just said that. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty mean. I'm pretty cruel and uh, I apologize. I mean, come on, she lived a full life. She did her thing. Like I can only imagine how much money these people are spending to go see the queen's body. Like they're coming from all over. I'm sure they're spending a butt ton of money, uh, hotels, food, uh, paying for British petroleum. If only there was a way for them to save money. Boom, it's Upside. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting a sponsor in this video. So what is Upside, you ask? It's a cashback app that enables people to get more value from their purchases. Yes, I do die a little bit on the inside whenever I have to buy gas for my car. But Upside here helps me to earn cash back on my day-to-day -day purchases. Here's what you're gonna do, all right, Walt? Yes, I'm doing the rest of this as Mike from Breaking Bad. You're gonna download the free Upside app on the App Store or Google Play Store. You're gonna go about your day and then claim an offer for whenever you're buying on Upside. You're gonna check in at the respective business you're at and choose which debit or credit card you're using to pay with. Do you understand me? You then get cash in your Upside account, which you can withdraw via bank transfer, PayPal, or an e-gift card to Amazon, for example. By doing so, you could earn three times more cash back with Upside than you would via a credit card rewards program. Do you understand me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I wanted to do the voice, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, mic voice aside, this is a wonderful way to save money, and I've done so over and over, especially when it comes to filling up my gas tank for the week. So, I highly recommend Upside. Download the free Upside app and use code SPARK to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. And now we go back to this royal mess of a cartoon show. But like the same time, like that's just the relationship I have with the royal family. I make a sound like I'm some like estranged son of the royal family. The throne's actually mine. Um, but uh, yeah, she's gone. And uh, I'm glad that hopefully she never knew about this show. Or maybe it was the show that got her, got Prince Philip and got her. Now, now it's the real ruler of England. 
Uh, but that's just where I stand for the Prince. Uh, I, I feel like I could go more in depth, but there really isn't much else to say. Because you're probably thinking, well, tell us about the episodes. What, what are they about? It's just like there's an episode about like Prince George getting unfollowed on one of his social media accounts. Okay. Uh, he uses the phone. He's kind of superficial like that. He's kind of Yas energy. And that's his character. There's not much substance here. There's not much meat. There's nothing really inspired. It's just satirical jokes at the expense of the royal family ad nauseum with them being portrayed in very caricature-esque ways, which again, I'm fine with. Uh, but there's nothing funny. There's no quality here is what I'm saying. So if you're looking for an actual show or a movie that like uses the royal family as a plot point, The Queen's Corgi actually works, but this show does not. And uh, I'd say just skip it, it's not worth it. And I'm glad, I'm glad a show like this got canceled. Hopefully it drove home the point to Warner Media, who's currently on fire as well, that people don't want stuff like this. They want actual quality. Go green light season three of Primal, never look back on the prince. Now you can stand in line in England and go look at the body, of um, the Prince show in a coffin and then Queen Elizabeth afterwards. Uh, all these people showing up, uh, lining up around the city. I gotta say, you know, it's that's some dedication. And as far as the visuals go, again, caricature, like faces and bodies. I mean, it's kind of to an extreme degree. Uh, Prince Philip portrayed as a corpse. And ironically, again, the show was delayed because Prince Philip died. So they're like, ooh, that was bad timing. You made a show making fun of him. You portrayed him as a zombie, a super old guy, and now you feel bad? Grow a backbone. Just stand by what you made. Uh, Queen Elizabeth is probably the most, I guess, I wouldn't say uh, they did her uh, uh, an honor, but she looks somewhat accurate. But Prince Harry and, and William, oh man, those are some characters right there. Uh, maybe they can do one for Prince Charles and his little hot dog fingers. But once more, the kids, back off. That's a punch below the belt.